Here we go. Here we go. Uh, last time we were over at uh, the Dimensional Vortex, about to go into, I guess, the heart of the Dimensional Vortex. Uh, we're not working on that right now because... I don't normally stream on Fridays. We're just um, kind of hanging out because there was an update yesterday. Well, for me. It's supposed to be today, but at my time zone. Yeah. It was yesterday. Yeah. I'm having hiccups. Um, so, I don't I'll collect the um, achievements later. I'll just run this dungeon a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can't play. We cannot play the new content from the update because we have not yet completed chapter 25, I believe, of the main story. Running the Dara Volcano. I don't feel like running the Dara Volcano right now, though, so we'll just run the man eating mark. Cyrus in the party. We've got Cyrus. And I don't feel like. I just run man-eating marsh. I've been grinding light on Cyrus on and off since November last year on my mobile account. So I'm really used to running man-eating marsh. Oh, he's up to like a hundred. Okay, good. Take that. We got Cyrus up to four stars. We got his tongue. So running this, this is really just his light, and because I don't, I want to use my keys, and I don't feel like doing anything else. These are also our better characters that we're leveling here. Uh, I really want to use the story characters more. Let's go all The problem out. is they're all stuck at three stars except for Cyrus right now, so I gotta, I gotta get their tomes. Actually, we should, we should run some of the other dungeons associated with them. Check those out. We've got Tiramis, so life isn't too hard. Just pretty much need to swap out Cyrus for a. Uh, Whoever gets light off of dungeons. Oh, Let's actually, we, we have not leveled up Amy yet, but we did get her tell. We just don't yeah. have enough think, prayer scripts right now. But, so once we get enough prayer scripts, Amy will be level up. Oh, we've defeated a lot of slimes right now. Once we get enough prayer scripts, we'll get Amy up to level fours or four stars as well. So, uh, and we'll work on Aldo, I think, getting his and Helena's. I'm just- I don't like Helena's stuff. Well, I'm fine with it when I have a team that can one-shot that stupid horror that was. But I do not have that. Dang, I was supposed to use Summoner's Gift when I get here. Yep, it's fine. The Coco. The Coco made up for what we were lacking. Probably won't stream too long, maybe work on a few quests after we do these dungeons. Just kind of having a bit of a play because I felt like it. I mean, I do this- I run the dungeons all the time already, and uh, try to collect armor as well off of stream because it's really boring. Uh, I've made some progress. Let's, I was I was farming Xeno Domain, <clears throat> regular Xeno Domain, or I think one of the armors. Uh, let's see, which one was? Probably buy it now. Let's see, was I working on bracelets? I might have been working on bracelets. Bone bangle, steel bangle, leaf bangle, wonder. Silver, steel. Two. Uh, that's what I was running the Dara Volcano for. Two. Anyone knows? No, we're not going to click that. It's so much worse than Thermos has. Anyone knows? Um, can you get Fanny, Fine's. Five star tome. Okay. Corridor of time layer. Okay, so we need to go back to the corridor of time layers. It's, I'm gonna make a note of this actually. So I will not remember if I don't write it down. List. Matter terribly much. Um. Corridor. Layers. Not AD. 
not done the four door time layers AD. Emerald bangles, we've got one. Sky blue bracelet. Nilva, we can't go to Nilva yet. Judgment bracelet, Charl Plains. I don't think we can go there yet either. Spirit bracelet. We saw Brinda Plains. Okay, so we need to farm Brinda. And Corinda Plains is actually a good one anyway because it's not a dungeon, so I can I can work on farming a hundred of all the enemies there. This needs Hard Miglance Castle. Okay, run some Hard Miglance Castle, I guess, because that's where we need all those. Uh, don't know if we'll do that now, but that is something we can do. I'll uh, hold the Miglance Castle team for the moment. I'm sorry, Cyrus, you must be switched with Aldo. Let's see. There he is. You have a I wanna give him a an experience. Oh no, he has a little. It's fine. He'll be he'll be good. Marsh anxious to glance castle. Call it Big M Miggle Miggle Castle. It, it makes perfect sense. Okay, we will do one run of it to see how difficult it. Well, I think I ran it before, but I, w I don't remember if I think I can handle it. We've got Tiramis, so all should be well. Tiramis makes life easy, and these guys. Oh. These guys are actually pretty strong as well because they're five stars. Well, Nako Nakoko is great. And I think, um. What a name? Nika. Nika will be great once we can get, uh. More stuff for her going on. Can't, you can't use our very hard keys. I really need to. Not today. Okay, burning Miglan's castle. It's not called burning Miglan's castle, but it is most definitely burning. Also, it's a it's a bit of a missed opportunity. To call it burning Miglan's castle, since there's um. Got a little cat scratch fever. Burning Beast King castle. Ritual. Everyone else should be good. Just doing their thing. She likes. I think it's better if they have pain, right? So she should move. she should pair well with Cyrus. I do not know this dungeon at all. I, I used to run it some. Let's go all with the out. materials. Uh, I hate it though. I hate this dungeon. Very confusing. I like Did the dungeons that are fairily straightforward. Moves. Where I know where the chests are, basically. P pretty much the ones I run a lot. I like. <laughs> So, you know, I guess if I ran this one more, oh, I'd get yeah, used to it, and then I okay. wouldn't hate it. Probably should, too, because all, all the, having light on all those. I don't really know his light since his upgrade. I mean, he seems pretty good even with both his light. If he's a lot stronger if you uh, level his light. So I should probably farm his light. Work on this place, figure out the best. Let's go all out! I don't know about the best route, but the route that I like to take for it. I'm gonna up in this album. My apologies. This is my dance. <laughs> the music is very intense here. Uh, these flowers out the window. But on the other hand, I do not like all the little corridors. I keep getting lost. Little corridors. Very confusing to me. This is my dance. For your hard work, Tiramis. Okay, that's the way up. A horror down there that we should probably kill. I don't know if we can though. This dungeon is a bit on the higher level. But you know what? We've got we've got Nakoko as our backup. And this guy has materials that we need for armor, so we'll kill him. Or at least we'll try. Okay, it should be alright because she is level 50 now. Debuff intelligence, distance. Yeah, I assume she's better when 
when we can get some pain cross stuff for her, but that's, uh, that's a bit of a ways off. Got a lot to do before then. Cat hook. Ah! Speed. I will just get another thing. Twin dragons, because it's mostly on Tyrannus. Not a good sign that she can't deal that much damage, but these guys are able to carry their own weight. Not so much Victor and not a very good sword she's got. Let's see if she can. But uh the Coco and Tyrannus do quite a lot of work. I guess we can also it occurred to me. We can just Now we'll save that. Now we'll do it. Well we'll Ultra Twin Dragon. Perfect twin dragons. See how high we can Probably not very high because she's not got any dragon origin stacked, so she's not bypassing armor. Yeah, that's bad. Nope, oh, the Coco's reached level 50. Nice. Never used I've, I've always kind of backlined poor Aldo, so. I should. I should I should make an effort to use him more. Especially because he seems pretty good. I, I like his uh, tight tight buff attack and Got like a debuff you see, so he's, he's he's pretty nice. Let's go all out. I don't know if that's cat, this floaty cat thing is cute or creepy, to be honest. Uh no, no. Hunter's ritual is good enough here. Oh, oh dear, we're running out on. This is my dad. I'm clicking so much. Oh. I need to figure out where the chests are so I stop running into every single corner. Also, I need to learn the names of the maps. Don't know. You're a fool to challenge me. Okay. Take that. Probably gonna have to eat our food, unfortunately. I don't like having dungeon because sometimes I forget. My cat is eating her box. Why is my cat having this? She has a cardboard box that she sleeps in. This is the moment On to its leave side, this like a little house. She likes it. Only uh, she comes and just chews pieces off the side of it. I don't know why, but she does, and she spreads them all over my room. Very strange little kitty, but I guess most cats are kind of strange. It's just the way they are. Got a little cat scratch fever. Okay, we are. We've only got like one summoner's gift left, so that's not ideal. I did bypass that horror because I didn't really fight it. Uh, we probably can defeat it since we defeated the other one, but it it'll take up our valuable resources. And wait, here, Mrs. Vanna. Valuable resources we have. I think Coco or Victor have them. I think Victor has a preemptive attack, but it only hits one character. Um, that's not my. There's gotta be a chest over here, right? Okay, good. I was afraid I just went down this long hall for nothing. And I was going to be really sad. But it was all good. There was. There was some nice loot. Eat house. Yeah, we'll probably do... We'll do some character quests. Not character quests. Should do character quests. But oh, oh, we probably won't. <laughs> well, I don't know. We might... Maybe we should probably work on Nikita's. Backline you and let these guys just punch and see how it goes. You say punch, none of them are pursued, so they're gonna slash. A poking Mika, so cruel. Her lovely. Oh, she is. She does not deserve to be smacked. That is why she will kill them. Oh, now they've poisoned Nika. Inconsiderate. We have achieved the goal of regening Tyrannus' mana. In these situations, a lot better. You're probably good. Pyramus. Pyramus is just carrying everything. Yeah. Is that like a lantern? I don't know what that is. I do, do wonder about it. I don't like the tiles are just on fire? Is that what that is? I can't tell. I, 
guess there's piles of... No, that's not wood, that's stone. I'm not sure why so much is on fire when all the stuff that's on fire seems to be stone. I probably should just not worry about it. The saying goes, it's alright as long as you don't think dad. about it. Is this the way out? No, this is not the way up. I do not. <laughs> Made a huge mistake. Get on your knees and surrender. Oh, I'm lost. I mean, I'll find the way out because it's not a maze, thankfully. At least all this loot will be useful for making armor. Remember the old days? The old days when I ran Prepare yourselves. very for hard death. in Miglant's castle trying to get horror. Air horror. They were simply Let's drop for here. I remember thinking that was unpleasant. Then that stupid shade dungeon came out. I hate the shade dungeon. I hate it so much. Uh, wait, no. No, we need, uh, <laughs> we cannot go into that fight without eating. Because Tiramis is gonna carry the party. Go, Tiramis. Help these poor little fools achieve victory. It's not something I have to worry about, probably. Yep. I think he is fat. Very good fist. Very fluffy. Pretty deep though we had to kill him. He was such a floofy man. Very lovely. Oh yeah, he's a lot- he's a lot weaker than the horrors. He's good. We have a bit of trouble with the horrors. Okay. Much like with, um... Cyrus, it takes three turns for... Aramis to kill him, although I think we do need... With- with Cyrus, uh, in the Man-Eating Marsh, we don't need anyone else. <laughs> On this one, I think we do need Nikoko. Make sure no one accidentally dies. Lord Master Tom. I think that's what we need for Aldo. Now we should check. We probably don't have enough. We probably don't have enough prayer for scripts. We probably don't have enough of those. Upgrade him. Oh, we do. Collect. Ooh, we have enough prayer scripts. Oh, murmur scripts are actually probably low on. I, I, I know that I've had a lot of it. Here we go. Four star Aldo. Cat! I forget there's a cat in his picture. Okay, so now we need more text. Uh, we'll need more murmur, murmur scripts, and then we'll be able to level up Amy as well. We don't have the tomes for Rika or Helena yet. Work on those. Okay. Got that done. See what we castle. Where are you here? Can you get in here. You know what? Actually, Rika, you are just. Oh, no. you're stuck at three stars. I'll I'll trade you out for Aldo. See, there he is. Come on, Aldo. Back in the party, friend. Okay, let's go and help the people of the world. Win some cool. What? Let's go the old fashioned way. No, we don't want to go to. Not the airport. I want to go to antiquity. It's old planes. Yes, please. I don't know if there's any quests in antiquity, but I figured I'd check. Actually, I. Just look at the quests. I forget that that exists. Oh, Amy and this cat. They look so cute. Pretty, pretty uh, blue. Okay. Oh, wait. Do we have any progress? 
Oh hey, we have that quest that I can't remember how to do. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Handsome counter. Okay, we're working on uh, fighting a zombie. Uh, she outleveled us. We can't really take level 60 a zombie. Oh wait. Start Gary is chancing. That's it. Symphony. Start. No, I don't. I don't. We can start either of those things. Not wish to start them though. Probably should. Their their characters are quite good. Character quest. Their tails. All of those episodes. Sub quest. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a bunch. Oh, I don't think there's. There's none in antiquity. Aw. Antiquity is such a good time. Okay. Okay, Rind. Haroki. Haroki. Must be the next part of that. Oh, glad and see is not the next part of the mermaid quest. Okay, well, I guess we'll go to Baroki because there's several quests there. We'll help the people of Aldo's hometown. Get uh, get things done. I always wondered about that patch. Why is it is it all dark like first? Like ash? There is no answer. There probably is, I just Okie dokie. To Baruoki. Bar Baruoki? I don't know. Baruoki. I don't know. That's how it looks. But I am very good at mispronouncing things. I like characters' names to be spelled how they're pronounced, because otherwise I will call them out. Ah, this must be someone who wants to yep, the lad the lad in the sea. The young lad wants to see the ocean. He wants to see the wide blue expanse. I'm to help him achieve his dream. Somehow. Or how? Hi, Aldo. You showed up at just the right time. What is it, Watt? You need me for something? I've been traveling all over the world, right? Have you seen the ocean? I really want to know what it's like. You can see the ocean from the Nuaru uplands. Want me to take you there now? You don't get it. Looking at it from that distance ruins all sense of impact. Cliffs and the castle spoil the view. I want to see it up close. Nothing but water stretching all the way to the horizon. Uh, right. You sound like you've thought about this a lot. I think the only place you could get that kind of view around here is the Serena Coast. A little too dangerous for you to go that far from home. Ah, uh, really? I wish there was some way to see faraway places while staying here. Maybe someday we'll have that technology. Wait, maybe a Elzian already does. You think of something, Aldo. I might have an idea. Give me some time, I'll have to run it by some other people first. Ah. Grab one. Cool, I'll be here right here when you're ready. I'll ask around an Elzian. The best place to get information is probably the bar. Cat is eating her box again. Why is she eating her box? Does she not have enough food and water? Why must she eat cardboard? I don't understand. It concerns me. Little. Not not too. Doesn't seem upset or anything. It is weird though. Well, maybe it's not weird. Maybe lots of cats, but I don't know. Some of the other cats I know. Okay, to Elzian. On that. Go yeah, to Elzian. We can also start a lot of the episodes, but I don't want to start any of them yet because I want to clear the main story. Goodness, there's quests walking all over here. So many. Not prepared for this. 
Any quests? Ah, it's up. Man? Probably should start some symphony soon, though. Hey, I was wondering, is there some kind of machine that'll let me show people places I've been? Hmm, like a sensory replicator? They exist, but they're pretty expensive. It doesn't have to be as detailed as that. Maybe, I don't know, some kind of image of the place. What, you mean a photo? Just use a regular holo camera. Unlike the old digital ones, it recreates the image in 3D. Makes you feel like you're really there. That sounds amazing, but it'd probably cause a huge scandal walking around with something like that. Isn't there something more simple? Can I put the image on paper instead? Oh, you want to go retro. I think I've got an old-fashioned camera. You do? Can I borrow it? Sorry, boy, it's broken. The old thing's been gathering dust for years now. I'll get you any materials or parts you need to fix it. How about that? Sure, why not? You should be able to salvage what you need from the sniper recon bits of... Sniper recon bits that patrol Ro Route 99. I don't know why I had such a reading on Route 99, got it. Leave it to me. It's been a while since I've been to Route 99. Mostly because I avoided the future quite a bit. We didn't spend that long here back in the day. We didn't do all the quests here before moving on. That's why we don't have many quests in antiquity. Because we did them along the way. Most unfortunate. I do love antiquity. Goodness, there's so many quests in here. We should work on these probably, but let's, uh, I think I'll finish up the quests in the present and then work on the future quests. Get them all You're out of the way. Fool to challenge me. I don't think we even need that. I Go think, away, I think everyone, time. yeah. If even Helena can one shot you, you Go know you're low level. Low level? He's a mage. This looks like one of the sniper recon bits meant that the old man in Elzian mentioned. You want to fight it, please, please. Let's do battle. Brace yourselves. Run Naga term. Okay, we'll just fight these guys. Beautiful. Dermis doing all the hard work. That. I also have not collected all the cats. I need to. Actually, we should kill that guy because he's got food of some variety. What kind? Fluffy cat over there. So we would like to fight this recently. Sniper bit as well. Beautiful. We have to keep going. Don't worry, Amy. Soon you will no longer be stuck at level one. That's, that's okay. Sabby. Okay. Soon you'll no longer be stuck as a thrower. We just need to get the uh, skirts for you. Oh, all will be well. This guy should be fairly easy. Now might be a good time to run. Yeah, he's a level. Up. I think I think we got this. Just debuff him massively because we can. Disappear. Yeah. Where this wig is. Terribly important though. Those vision. Side and two chests. Heal ram. Energy one. Mine already had those, unfortunately, because if we didn't already have them, that'd be very convenient, because then I wouldn't need to uh I wouldn't need to farm them. I think we already had them. This guy's got a chest too that I've never looted? Okay. Kill him as well. Forgot, we uh we weren't able to fight a lot of these guys back then because we were weak. How foolish. We had Terramus, no but she was weak. Hadn't fed her all of my XP scrolls yet. Now all the XP scrolls go to Nokoko because uh Terramus can handle now those might things. Be a good time this level. To run. Um sounds outside. Do the same thing we did last time. 
do not know why Helena is French, but very nice. I just really like Helena, though. I should, I should work on her as well, though. I believe her dungeon is one of the harder ones we can do currently. The, that intimidates me a little, because if Tiramis can't handle everything on her own, it's a, it's a lot harder. We, we really need to get to a point where we don't have to rely on Tiramis so much. So I guess it is worth doing to upgrade her and have more options. Okay. Oh, she's Earth, so she'd probably be helpful with them. Um, I'm needing Marsh. Last one. Let's keep it up. Which I think she'd be good at her own dungeon. It's weak to Earth as well. That looks ma 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 massively unsafe. That must be a character quest. That's why it's showing it, but we can't show it. We don't have a character in our party. I wonder whose quest it is. We'll find out when we click on it. Board. Ah, it's, uh, Rebella. Rebella's cool. I'd, I'd really, really like it if Rebella could get a 5-star someday. I used him a lot back in the day. He was my water damage. It's very sad. It was the waves. He was my water damage dealer until I got mighty in the clear. I replaced him. Hello, sir. I brought back all the parts I could find. Is there anything here you can use? Let's take a look. Not this. This one is no good. Oh, but this might work. A lot of the film's still intact. Can you fix the camera? I think so. Give me a minute. But I forgot to do an old people voice for the old people. Put this here, pull that, shove this in here, and ta-da. Not quite my old people. Good as new. This should work just like it did in the good old days. You say that. Good old days. Wow, thanks. Now I have to go to the Serena Coast and take some pictures. Time to be a photographer, Aldo. Good off I hate the way it hangs on. I'm opening the map and it makes me nervous. Every I haven't really got to go to this area. Nature. Lots of parts of the map where I'm like, that looks cool. I wonder if we'll ever get to go there. The answer's probably no, but... It doesn't make it less cool. I'll probably come back to that one. There's a zombie. Like trying to fight her again. Okay, apparently the other way would have been better. I love these tall flowers. Yellow centers, they're very very pretty. Your stars show a sad existence. That should be good. Why is a superior fillet just laying there? That's a little. Actually, it's a lot worrying. Yeah, not not a little. A lot. Going. A lot worrying. Why is there just a fillet lying on the side? Jenny, hello there. The character quest. This. Iris. This looks like the kind of scenery Watt wanted to see. Now, how do I use this thing again? Whoa, what was that flash of light? Something came out. It's a picture of my face. I guess I was holding it the wrong way. Okay, so I look through this part and turn it this way. Why is it doing a flash in the middle of the day? That, that, that's how it's supposed to work. Great, I think I'm getting the hang of this. What a beautiful shot of the sea. Watt is going to love this for sure. Got a 
photo of the ocean. Now we will fast travel there instead of running through Unigid, mostly because I hate the gates in Unigid. But I do enjoy the Carrick Swampland immensely, it's very lovely. The environments are just... I like hanging out in the environments. Fortunately, there are some that aren't as great, where you have to farm a whole lot. Mountain range looks like a dragon. Uh, mo mostly I'm thinking. Desert is pretty, but sandworm. Hate the sandworm. What? I've returned. Welcome back, Aldo. Thanks, I brought you a little souvenir of my last trip. Take a look. You handed over the photo of the ocean. Whoa, it's the ocean. Awesome. This is exactly the kind of thing I wanted to see. Glad you like it. This painting's amazing. Perfectly captured every single detail of the place. Where'd you get this? Oh, uh, well, I happen to know a really good artist. Got him to paint it for you. You must be a genius. I feel like I'm looking at the real thing. I'm gonna treasure this. That's great, but, uh, the artist is really kinda shy, so don't show it to anyone, alright? <laughs> I promise, it'll be our little secret. By the way, why are you so obsessed with the sea in the first place? I guess it's because of my uncle. He lives in a country across the sea. He's such a nice guy, whenever I see him, we always have a ton of fun. But I don't get to see him all that often. I really miss him. He may be far away, but we're linked by the ocean. Looking at it makes me feel closer to him. That makes sense. I'm sure your uncle's doing great wherever he is. Yeah, I'll look at this picture and think of him while I wait for the next time he visits. Okay. Being a foolish person who doesn't understand how to do quests, uh, I have looked up how to finally resolve that one where we were searching for the survivors of the shipwreck. Uh, because we actually have that active. Uh, but actually, I think I'll finish up these Baru Baruoki quests first, because they're right here. This one about the well. From the depths of the well. The area around the well in Baroki is getting messy. Help clean it up. A little concerning when you get a fillet from like a creature that can use weapons and talk. But uh, that's one of the rewards for this quest. Hey there, why the long face? Something up with the old well? Oh, hello there, Aldo. I keep finding lots of trash scattered around this well. As soon as I finish clearing it away, more seems to appear. Coming out of nowhere. Or, well, sounds like we've got a real determined litter bug on our hands. I wish they'd show a little consideration and clean up after themselves. To make it worse, some of my old cleaning tools need mending. You can get me some cur, cur wood. Sure, no problem. Cur grows in the Carrick Swampland, right? Yes, it's just what I need to fix my broom. I'll wait for you right here. I think my favorite quests are pretty much any quest in Antiquity. I, I love pretty much all the side quests in Antiquity. Antiquity is great. And then, um, Baruoki. I love the quests in Baruoki. They're nice because it's like, for all the He knows them. It's, it's like a nice, it, it helps make it feel like it really is his home. And I just, I appreciate that. It's a nice touch. I love this cat so much. I need to, that's another reason I need to work on the story though. My favorite cat is, um, Zingarulia. So yeah, we're quite a ways off from being able to use my favorite cat. Although, I, I do adore this cat, too. Ran, ran, ran Mario? Okay. In the castle. Who's I, I, want, I, want to be, I want to collect that cat. That cat is such a pretty fluff. But Kirk, Kirk, I want to call it Kirk, Kirk but only one R. Cooker wood and the Carrick Swamp Land. Oh, look at that. Okay. Only two more woods to collect, and then, then we yourselves. Be busy. For instance, you can you can get meat from these guys for certain quests and stuff. They, they use tools. They wear armor. They're they're like people. It's like taking people meat. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Just cut off their tails. It's very concerning. I, I, I think it, it'll be alright, as long as I don't think about it. I have one more wood. 
then back to Baruoki. Baruoki's very pretty. Ah, no, not where I wanted to go. Not so beautiful. There he is. Don't have Xion. He does not know us. These guys, they use like these meat cleavers. So you can make a fillet out of them. Find it unsettling. And again, I don't I don't eat regular balls. So. Maybe maybe I just don't understand. These flowers are very lovely though. But I will try not to gush about how much I love the mushrooms for You're once. The fool to challenge me. Oh good, we're almost done. We're running really low on mana. Hermes has one more one more uh right, right, dragon. That was weird. I thought I was about to fight for a moment there. To, we need to pop into all those houses and take a nap. Take a nap. Look! Garu. Another kitty. I don't think Garu will appreciate that. His book entry. He is timid and he lives in Garu. Two other Baruoki cats, and I know they show up at certain times, but I have not seen either. We looted this one. Go. Back at the beginning of the game. We can do quests and stuff with Grandpa, but we're not gonna do it right now. And stuff. Back to the well. And we do have a quest. Him. Over there. Come to help with your problems. Here's the stuff you asked for. Will this be enough? Hand it over the cooker wood. Thank you. This will make my broom good as new. But. But. While I was waiting for you to get back, I heard. I heard noises coming from the bottom of the well. I think something might be living down there. Maybe it's just some kids. It'd be a, it'd, it'd a, it'd be a pretty cool place to build a secret base. Even if it is, they need to stop leaving their mess behind. Can you go down and tell them? Sure, down the well we go. Time I see a well, another Eden. I pop down it in case there's like loot down there. See, there was loot down here. I uh, I got that a long time ago too. In this lovely cave. Look at these glowing crystals. I don't know why there's glowing crystals everywhere in fantasy. I won't question it either because I like them and I wish we had more giant glowing crystals in real life. That would be pretty sweet. Hmm, it does feel like there's someone else down here. Hello? No reply. Hey kids, come out here a second. You're not in any trouble, I promise. Gooblin. Aha, so it was goblins living down here. Yeah. Move into our well, then have the nerve to throw garbage everywhere. Not cool. We don't need troublemakers like you messing up our village. Consider yourselves evicted. Self. So there's probably more than one goblin. Is You're the fool fight. to challenge me. Face the wrath of the summoner's gift. Let's keep it up. Good, Amy's making. Leveling progress. The goblins fled. Won't be seeing them again. Time to get out of here. I need some air. Are there any enemies you can run into down here? Is it? I'm not sure. We're sure in a really pretty little pond. There's a beautiful cave under Baroki. You're the fool to and it's apparently inhabited with goblins that I should not waste that on because I think you're level 1. Considering you can come down here from the beginning of the game. And... Uh, matter. Back up we go. Not really sure... Like, this well is dry. 
feel like maybe maybe there should be something like that. No water for that bucket. Aldo, I just saw some goblins come out of the well. Did you chase them out? Yes, yeah, seems they hold up in a little cave down there. Now our litter bugs are gone, you shouldn't be having any more trouble with trash around here. Pretty scary to think there were goblins living right here in the village. Those things are so nasty. Okay, I'm going to get this area neat and tidy once and for all. Eh, uh -huh, you look like you could take on a whole horde of goblins just with that broom. Remember, Aldo, never underestimate someone who's truly passionate about cleaning. No question about that. Mina can be downright scary when she gets serious. I thought we killed the goblins. Apparently we just chased them off. Not sure about that, though, because we're now getting some fil fillets of- well, those aren't goblin fillets, I guess, so. We didn't kill the goblins, we killed some fishermen. She killed some fish. Gave, gave us their fillets. More hide and seek quests. I, need, I think I think I did the one in Baro. Okay, I think I need to do the one in the future, maybe. Grandpa, you have a quest for us. There's something borrowed in the drawers of the second floor. Investigate the drawers and find the original owner. Ah, oh, Aldo, you're just in time, laddie. Time for what? Did you need me for something? Just cleaning up, and I happen to take a look in your chest of drawers. A lot of things in there that doesn't seem to be. that don't seem to be ours. Not good to hold on to stuff you've borrowed for too long, laddie. Hadn't you better return them? Huh, I don't remember borrowing anything lately. I'll take a look, though. Oh, do we have. Do we have May? I don't think we have May. I wanted to slot her in the- I mean, we can't- we can't upgrade her yet. But she's cool, so I don't want to use her. I'm sorry, Nikia. You're in my leveling party, so... You'll, you won't get a band. Well, I don't have men. Or care. That's sad. Look through the drawers and learn things we don't own. This is my dresser. Let's see what Grandpa was talking about. Nothing but clothes in this drawer. Maybe it's in one of these others. You got a heavy wooden sword, a weird stone, and an old pendant. Wow, I had no idea I'd kept these things for so long. Better give them back. First, the wooden sword, I got this from the blacksmith years ago. Don't remember why I needed it, but maybe he will. Say hi to May at the blacksmith, I guess. Why do I have Amy in front? I'd like to have Helena in Helena's not in the front. Kind of blocks everybody. Osiris, over. Oh. Eldo, you're back line. Oh. Okay, she's going in Cyrus's spot. I forgot how massive her hair is. Cyrus, lead the way. He'll lead us to adventure. I think the blacksmith, yeah, the blacksmith is right next door. It's me! Yo, how's it going? We finally finished our big order from the castle, and now we're open for business again. I think they were closed. Okay. If she has anything else to say, or if that's all she wants. Yeah, that's all she wants. I think if we get, if we get her oh. Gotcha, then have new Hi Aldo, what can I do for you? Looking for some new gear? Thanks, I've got all the equipment I need. I just wanted to give you this. Hand it over the heavy wooden sword. Wow, this really takes me back. Seems like only yesterday you came in here demanding it give you a weapon so you could protect Fine. Uh, sorry, I had a tendency to take things way too seriously when I was little. Why'd you give me something so heavy and bulky, though? It's not exactly easy to fight with. Yeah, I figured it'd be so heavy, no kid could actually use it. I mean, it was on purpose? I had to think of some way to shut you up and keep you out of trouble. Hehehe. <laughs> Never even suspected. I went on training with this sword for years. Are you used to the weight of this thing now? Of course, thanks to this, I can handle heavy swords without breaking a sweat. Everything worked out for the best, then. You're welcome. Yahaha. Ha. Very funny, but I guess you're right. Now, where did I get this weird stone? I 
I think it was the tavern. Tavern we go. Where they drink only fruit beverages that are decidedly non-alcoholic. For some reason. Apparently a second part to the well quest. Not remember that. Hey there, Aldo. What can I do for you? I've got a little mystery for you. Do you recognize this? Hand it over the weird stone. Stone? Oh, right. I think I borrowed it from someone here when I was younger. I don't really remember who I got it from or why I wanted it, though. If you know whose this is? I want to give it back, but... Ha ha ha. Ah, good one. Whoa, what's the matter? Can't believe you don't remember this thing. Yeah, I only have this dim idea it has something to do with this place. Back when you were a kid, you used to sneak in here all the time. You did? Oh yeah, I like talking to people who stayed here. I was really curious about the outside world. Yep, you pestered one traveler so much that he gave you this. Oh, that was nice, I guess. What's so special about this stone? Hey, <laughs> he told you that he'd grant wishes if you kept hold of it long enough. He wanted it so bad, he had you running all kinds of errands in exchange for it. What? There's no way I'd fall for a cheap, cheap trick like that, even as a kid. He finally left and gave you the stone. You were dancing around for joy. You gotta be making this up. Hehehe. <laughs> Still don't believe me? Let me tell you another story. There's a knight who came here once with a traveling caravan. Begged her to teach you some swordplay. She made you practice some ridiculous routine. Thought it was a special move. No way. You must be thinking of someone... Wait, there's more. How about that time... That merchant made you eat those bitter berries because they'd make you super strong. No more, I'm begging you. Just take the stone. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Tell the stories. Erg, I remembered some things I wish I hadn't. I can't believe I was such a little chump back then. I feel like this errand is only giving people an excuse to laugh at me. Let's get this over with. This old pendant. Come to think of it, I think it's grandpa's. Oh right, I never gave this back. Time to put things right then. Ah, Grandpa. He is nice. Grandpa is very nice. He's kind enough to let us have adventures instead of saving the world on his own. Hello again, laddie. Did you return everything? Sure did, Gramps. All except one last thing. Here you go. Oh, you had something of mine. Yeah, sorry it took me so long to give it back. Hand it over the old pendant. Oh, this pendant. I thought you might have it. That's right. I was hiding it from you all this time. What's the story behind this, anyhow? When I was a kid, you always seemed so sad when you looked at it. I think that's why I took it. Pretty dumb of me. See, this was left to me by a dear friend of mine. He was attacked by beast folk. This was all I had to remember him by. Grandpa, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Don't feel bad, laddie. Back then, I was struggling beneath the weight of my grief. I felt trapped alone. When I started yelling at you for taking the pendant, my heart started to feel lighter. You were really scary. I'd never seen you so angry. Even so, you insisted you knew nothing about it. You always were a stubborn boy. Really am sorry. Ho oh, ho, but you did it out of kindness in your own childish way. You may be stubborn, but you've always done your best for those you care for, too. I don't know about that. I don't remember thinking about it consciously, it was more instinctive. Jealous that you spent so much time looking at the pendant than playing with me and Fine. I figured if the pendant wasn't around anymore, you'd stop looking so sad. I was just a kid, I didn't know what I was doing. No need to be so bashful, son. I understand how you must have felt. Thank you for taking care of this all these years. No problem. Uh, I gotta go. I'll see you later, Gramps. Blast from the past, and no mistake. Eh, the boy doesn't realize just how much he's done for me. Quest complete. That lovely, exciting quest music that doesn't really fit when the quest was just running around giving people things. That was actually nice! There was no combat. I'm so used to expecting a battle right around the, like, the second to last or last part of the quest. It's, uh, it's weird when it doesn't happen. I get confused. I'm like, what's, what's wrong? There's supposed to be a battle! <laughs> the Baru Baruoki Well is still filthy. Find out what is happening. Is this one of the three part quests? Or maybe it's just two part. I don't know if there are any two part quests, though. Erg, I thought we'd put a stop to this. Huh? Is someone still dropping trash around the well? 
I'm afraid so. I don't understand it. You already got rid of those goblins. Yeah, I did. Just to make sure, I went down to the bottom of the well and took a look around. There's more trash than ever down there now. Huh? How does that work? The goblins didn't come back, did they? I don't know. I could have just missed this trash before. I only claimed around the well, not inside it. One little problem with that theory, though? What I've found doesn't look like the kind of thing, go thing goblins would throw away. What do you mean? There's paper with something written on it. I can't make out what exactly, but most goblins don't read or write. Yeah, they're not the most literate creatures. Weird. I'll look into it. I'm sure there's some explanation. Go back into the well. Thank you. If it's a monster causing it, give it an extra whack from me. Into the well we go. Little. I jump into the well. Designer. Should start ocean. Sorry, I think about it every time I see water because I'm like, fishing! Hmm, there's a lot of trash, but it doesn't look like anyone's here. Better take a look around before whoever or whatever it is comes back. I'm ripped. Whoa, I never expected to see a wormhole somewhere like this. Does this mean the trash has been traveling through time to end up here? What a waste of a miraculous phenomenon. Let's see where it leads. <laughs> Chucking their trash into a... Uh... Fast. <laughs> Warg, well, what, what the heck? Someone popped out of my handy hidey hole. Phew, that was a bumpy ride. Sorry, buddy, did I bump into you? Hey, is this Elsian? What? What, who, where, what, when, who are you? Never mind who I am. Are you the one who's been throwing trash in this hole? Is this some kind of experiment? Am I on, ca on camera? Yeah, I've been dumping stuff in the hole. My old stuff disappears without a trace. It's perfect. Yeah, that's because it's getting sent into the past. Huh? Oh, nothing. Could you stop, though? You might not know it, but you're causing a lot of trouble for a friend of mine. Wish I could, but there's no other way to get rid of this stuff. Can't you just put it in the garbage? You nitwit, I can't let my family see this stuff. I would die of embarrassment. Be a different story if I could fix my disintegrator, but I don't have the parts. How about an assist, man? Disintegrator? What's that? Like a cheese grater? What century are you from? It's an advanced eco gadget that takes garbage apart at the molecu molecular level. It's working, I can dispose of anything with total secrecy. Oh, confusing future, how I've missed you. If it'll get you to stop littering, I'll find you the parts. Sweet, you can get everything I need from the scarlet eraser bits out in the airport. Come find me in the Theta District when you got the goods. You know, it occurs to me there's at least two quests about littering. Okay, we're actually real close to the airport. We just gotta go this way. Maybe we need to go into Elzian. Although, actually, we'll come back and go into Elzian since apparently that's where the quest continues. So we're already here. May as well. It's still over here. I hate the airport. I didn't hate the airport so much. Look, this looks like a Scarlet Eraser, but you should be able to get the parts from it. Begin battle now? Yes, we will begin the battle now. Wish to die? Step forward. Summoner's gift for these guys. We may be able to do the Summoner's Prayer as well. Takes me to the fishing area. Cat. Cat. Very cute cat. Look over by the fishing hole, though. Fishing cloud. I do not like the really long spread out maps. I get a bit lost. These guys are low enough level. We should be able to, yeah, just punch them down. I could have handled it myself. They were pathetic weaklings, but you could have done it. I assume we've also collected this cat, because it's not very pretty cute. Little calico. So cute. Get on your knees and surrender! 
They can't get on their knees, Terramus. They have no knees. We will defeat them all. For their parts. A lot of quests in the future are like, go defeat robots for parts that I need. That one must be very good at... Time is a luxury we don't have. I don't even know what that would be. I say DIY, but... I guess in a way it is kind of a scavenging DIY where you go murder rogue robots at the airport. It's Cuervo! Sorry, I got excited with Cuervo. I will He's cool. I'd like him to get like a five star too. I'd, I'd like all the four stars to get five stars to be honest. Not AS because I really, really, really hate when they don't. When they have AP left over, it upsets me immensely. Far more than it should. That's why I wish like four and uh, Nika had a five star bird. Well. It doesn't need to be good, they just need to have one so that I, I don't have to be sad anymore about them having an uneven number. Back to Elsian. I still over it. Go to the lower part, or the other part. I don't actually know if one's. The other part. We're in Theta. No, we're in the other one. We're in the one that isn't Theta. We're going to Theta. I really have not spent as much time in the future as the other times. So I get a lot confused. Okay, yeah, we got two quests over here. We'll do the one this guy first. Hero delivers. Thanks, man. I can fix my disintegrator. Take some time, but it'll leave no evidence. That's what counts. I cannot stress how important it is for me to get rid of this. You must know, it's a bunch of poetry I wrote when I was a kid. Really pretentious stuff. Reading it now makes me cringe, but at the time I thought I was real hot stuff. Erg, I wish I could disintegrate my memory of how I embarrassed myself. Such an insufferable twerp. Moving on, do me a favor and forget this ever happened, alright? Yep. Off he runs in slow motion. Quite slow motion. Looks like he should be running faster than he. Hello, sir. Glowing blue hole, probably at Terran space time. This area will become Elzian in the future. Maybe we should continue this investigation there. I feel like that line was supposed to be somewhere else. Because I said this area will become Elzian in the future. But, but this is Elzian. I feel like this line is misplaced. Hey, you haven't heard anything about an odd-looking boat showing up around here, have you? You mean the ghost ship? Yeah, they say an old-fashioned wreck appeared at the airport. Some said it was just a KMS experiment gone wrong. When a man's face suddenly popped up out of the wreckage, a lot of folks started saying he must be a ghost. That's all everyone at the port has been talking about for a few days now. I knew we were onto something. Do you know what happened to this man? Some guy took him in and is letting him work at his store until he gets back on his feet. Blacksmith in Gamma District, I've heard. His daughter's a real looker too, by the way. Blacksmith from Gamma District with a pretty daughter. That sounds familiar. Of course, Ishars, here we come. That would be Amy's dad. Go, I wish to go to the Gamma District, please. Yeah. We'll return to the litter quest after we finally resolve the uh, time traveling shipwreck. I was working on that back with the Rind quest, and I uh, could not remember where to go. <laughs> Yo, Aldo, good to see ya. Mr. Zowl, I have a question for you. Is name the same as the planes? Did you happen to hire a guy who was found inside a ghost ship? Ghost ship? Oh, you must mean booty. He said he came from the past. Reminded me of you in a way. Couldn't leave him all high and dry. Yes, so I gave him a job. He's out getting supplies right now, but he should be back any minute. I'm back, boss. Speak of the devil. Booty, you got a visitor. 
visitor, who'd even know who I am? You're the castaway from Rind, right? Heard of Rind? Were you shipwrecked here too? In a way, I guess. Don't, don't you think you should be getting back there soon? You say that like it'd be easy. We're talking about time travel here. Besides, I've decided to stay here in this time. It'll take some getting used to, but I'm sure I can adjust. Now that I've seen what the future looks like, I've realized there's something only I can do. I'm one of the only people here who's seen the vast, beautiful ocean firsthand. Thanks to Zowl, I'm able to make a living here. I'm saving money to start up an ocean reconstruction project. First, though, I want to visit the place they call Last Island. Heard there are still blue seas there. Sounds like you've made up your mind. I have. My only regret is leaving behind my friend and fellow fisherman in Rind. If you're going back there, would you give him this pendant? Got a jade pendant. Sure thing. Make sure he gets it. I know what it's like to find yourself in a new unfamiliar era. So glad I met Amy and Rika and e even Cyrus. They helped me get through some tough times. Even Cyrus? Hold up. Cyrus is great. Better give this pendant to his friend and set his mind at ease. Ow. Ow. What is going Hurt. Okay. If the river return? No, indeed. It will not return. The future. What if those are numbers? In the, yeah, the main quest in antiquity. That's why we've got a green marker there. That's but for now, to Rind to tell the fisherman that his friend is not dead. It's uh, good news. It is a cute. Quest in Rind. Actually, we need to go back and finish the litter quest in uh, Baruoki. Things are going there. Title district chilling a bit, but apparently we were actually killing several bits. Oh, you're back. You don't look too happy. Is it bad news? Well, I did find your friend. He's doing great, and he asked me to give you this. Handed over the jade pendant. Th this is... He ended up in a place where you found a new purpose, so he's not coming back. Hmm, I see. Knowing him, he's chasing some crazy dream. He bought this pendant when the two of us swore to become great fishermen someday. He wanted me to have it. That's his way of saying this port is my turf now. Yeah, have it your way, old friend. I'll make Rind a town we can be proud of. That's the spirit. The two of you can still work together to protect the ocean. Thanks for the help, boy. Now I can rest easy. I'll be the best fisherman I can be. It'll be my way of carrying on his legacy. Nice little quest. Why we got an eyeball out of it, though? Oh no, it's, <laughs> he's lagging and he was stuck walking in place. <gasps> the cat's adorable. Why I bother saying they're adorable? They're all adorable. But they're just so cute, I love them. I want to comment on how cute they are now. Slowly falling in. Back. I guess it's the way of things. I'm a bit. By a bit, I mean I'm a lot tired. No reason to be though. So let us finish this quest as well. You're not the correct lady. Hello there. Welcome back, Aldo. How'd it go? How do I put this? Better not tell her about the wormhole. She'd never believe it anyway. It was just some monster that wandered into the well. I got rid of it, so you don't have to worry. Really, I didn't see anything come running out of the well this time. Oh, that's because, uh, I defeated it right then and there. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Hehe. <laughs> Strong and kind, too. No wonder you're the village's golden boy, Aldo. What can I say? But we might get others crawling in. You can never tell with monsters. It'd be best to tell everyone to steer clear of the well for a while, just to be safe. Good thinking. I'll put the word out. Thanks for all your help, Aldo. Not a problem. Well, I've got to get home and make a start on dinner for tonight. Bye. Bye. Oh. 
hole and a day's work for Aldo, time traveling garbage man. What happened to my life? I hope people get the message and stay away. Don't want anyone taking a tumble into the future. Probably worth keeping an eye on the situation here. Coffee drinker, hello there. Of the well complete. All the Baroque quests, but I know there was another one in Rin, so we'll go pick that one up. See what what help they need over there. Gosh, a Baroque, pretty little town, village, I guess, it's not the town. But no, honestly, very unpleasant. Move, PC. Yeah. Please move. I need this quest that's behind you. <laughs> oh, thank goodness she moved. <laughs> Countering legend. A powerful monster has appeared on the Serena coast. There's more some young people from Rinder there. Time to find out what this is about. Hey. Huh? What's that? Ah, you must be the adventurers I've heard about. What a relief to find you here. Something wrong. A powerful monster has appeared on the Serena coast. It's attacking two youngsters right now. Oh no, you better hurry. Are the kids alright? What I saw, they've managed to avoid harm so far, but it's not looking good. First beast folk, now monsters. It feels like our home will never be safe again. I'll go see what I can do. Go save people. Or walk into a beast trap. You never really know on the Serena Coast. A lot, there's an awful lot of beasts masquerade, beast folk masquerading as people out here. That away. Should, uh, should work on leveling my people. We can give a zombie. A, zen, a zombie. I'm gonna oh, send I say you it. flying. So we can give fighting her next stage another try. It'll be a while before we can defeat her, though, I imagine, we for uh, the final stage. Goal. We don't have anywhere near a level 80 character. Miss is the closest, and she's like level 51. Oh. We'll, uh, we'll get there eventually. You're a fool to challenge but that's me. What progressing through the story is for, I guess. <laughs> that and the story. The story is good. It's right by Denny. Hi, Denny. The lizard people. But don't panic. I'll find a way to get us out of here. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. Can't blame yourself for this. We're both going to be fine, I promise. Hope you're right. Yarg. Darn it. All this waiting around made us sitting ducks for this monster. Sure, I can sense my mermaid approaching, too. Keep it together. Help is on the way. That voice. Aldo. Looks like I'm a little late to the party. Stand back, you two. This thing means business. Ah, so this is the next part of the mermaid quest. I'm gonna send you flying. Here, let's take a back row. We're gonna, like, actually try. Let's fight till the end. <laughs> Cyrus isn't very good here. Water in, I guess. Flat strike. Flat crush, yeah. Don't want Hermes is too efficient. Gotta try sometimes. I guess that is an older quest, so these guys can handle it just fine on their own. That's the end of that chapter. There's more! Groog. I guess I spoke too soon. Wow, there's a whole pack of them. Even I might have trouble fighting this many while keeping those two safe. I suppose I have no choice. I will lend you my aid. Hm? What are you? Sparkling. Wiped them all out. How did you do that? 
Oh, hey, where'd she go? That way, she dived into the sea and disappeared. I had no idea she was so powerful. Mermaids sure are wonderful. Wait, you mean... Yes, without a doubt, that was her. I even saw her transform and disappear beneath the waves. Merfolk can transform to look like humans. No wonder they're so hard to find. You're an ethereal voice coming from the ocean. Wasn't planning on showing you who I really was. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt trying to protect me. Are you the same mermaid I met all those years ago? Yes, it is I. It's been a while, hasn't it? You, you remember me. Of course, I tried to forget, to carry my memories of you, but to no avail. I knew you wouldn't recognize me in human form. After all, you'd still be looking for a mermaid. I was able to watch over you in secret all this time, until now. Why did it have to be in secret? Couldn't you have just told me? You know how our kind have suffered at the hands of humans in the past. The laws forbid us from making contact with you. I wouldn't have told anyone. I wish you'd have trusted me. That's right, you should already know how nice a guy Kasim is. He'd never do anything to hurt you or any other merfolk. I'm sorry, but rules are rules. I must go now, I'm sure I don't need to ask, but please don't tell anyone you saw me here today. Doing so may bring down, bring down disaster on you. Please wait. Mermaid vanishes. She's gone. I didn't think she'd be so secretive. Her folk do exist. I was right. It wasn't a dream. But, but now I'll never see her again, will I? All in over place. You've had a hard day. Come on, I'll come the rest of the way back to Rind with you. I like to imagine Denny was just standing over there watching all that happen. Like, what are these people doing? Going. Yeah, there we go. We're on the way. Your stars show a sad existence. Now we're being attacked by Yaksha. It's flying that. fish monsters. I don't like that shark from Pokemon. Revenge on. No, oh, not Sharpedo. Carnival. I don't know if that's the correct name for it. Bucket just laying there outside of town. No, no. Okay, phew. I grabbed the quest before she walked in front of it. Sigh. Try to look on the bright side. You got to meet your mermaid again, and the town's safe from monsters. What do I do now? She's gone for good, and I have no way to follow her. I guess, but... Sigh. It's a very sad, young man. Hey, you're not gonna give up now, are you? There's got to be some way humans and merfolk can live in peace. You'll only get mad at me if I try to find her again. Of course she will. It's only natural. She risked her life just to come talk to you one last time. You can't show the same courage, maybe you're not worthy of her after all. You spent your whole life looking for her, or are you really okay letting it in like this? No, no, you're right. I've always been prepared to do whatever it takes to see her again. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, I can't give up, I'll never give up. Thanks for talking some sense into me, Aldo. Presence hasn't completely faded yet, I'm going after her. Hey, don't forget me. Walk back to town and then he immediately runs off. Hope I didn't hype him up too much. I'd better go along and see how this turns out. I walk to Rind and then walk back to the Serena Coast. Huh. We were just there! Yes, him, you're an inconsiderate young man. Why do we have to walk all the way to Rind just to walk all the way back? I guess at least we're, you know, getting some some mob killing in while we're at it. We make a good team. Collect all the loot. It is nice. The water sounds bridges. It's very soothing. 
Okay, so you've been standing over here with Denny. It's just funny that, it's, that these things happen right next to Denny. <laughs> like, couldn't it have been a little further one way or the other? You, Kessie made it here okay. Is that you, Aldo? Yeah, it's me. Can you still sense her nearby? Yes, I'd know this presence anywhere. She's around here somewhere. Aldo, you helped me remember something important. I told you before that I fell in love with her when we first met. But I couldn't remember why exactly. It wasn't What was it that attracted me to her so much? Soon enough, I became obsessed with just finding her again. I lost sight of the emotions that should have spurred on my resolve. As I stand here, looking at the ocean where she makes her home, I remember. She saved me. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to become a fisherman like my dad. I couldn't swim. I used to sneak out of town and down to the coast at night to practice. Looking back on it now, it was pretty stupid of me to do that alone. I'm glad I did. If I hadn't, I'd have never met her. She laughed at the way I was thrashing around in the water, but then she offered to teach me how to swim. It was like magic. When I followed her instructions, everything clicked. It all made sense. I wouldn't be the man I am today without her help. I want to be with her no matter what. Just don't give up, do you? Thought I told you this was the end of the two of us. I hope you're prepared to face the consequences. It's you. I'll take anything you can throw at me. Finding you has been my life's work. No matter what you say, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth if I have to. I'll do whatever it takes to be by your side. You're a fool, but I won't try to stop you. Huh? You won't? Your people aren't like humans. Very rarely resort to violence except in the most extreme cases. All that face the consequences stuff was just a bluff, huh? I didn't think you'd hurt us, not after hearing about how the merfolk never fought back even when they were hunted. That's right, we are pacifists at heart. We're far more likely to flee from danger than face it head-on. Thanks to my dispersing those monsters, rumors about me have already spread. We won't be able to return here until the very concept of merfolk has faded from living memory. Sorry, Kasim, this is goodbye. There she goes. This isn't the end. I won't allow it. So that's part two of the Merfolk quest. It's complete. Wonder if we can do part three or if we have to a little bit. Go to Rend and check. Got to run to the end of this one, and then I go down. Big flying fish are scary. Never to be seen again. Oh. Back. Go. Time is a luxury we don't have. Wow, we did a hundred beast soldiers. Some chrono stones for that. I think we're doing all right on chrono stones. We don't have as many as we used to. We should. No, we don't need food. We have food. There's a quest over here. Is this the last part of the mermaid quest? Fine. If it is. Song lost in the flow of a river. Cassim and Rind wants to do something about the spreading rumors. Rumor of a mermaid. Uh, how many at the moment? Uh, I will look. After we talk to Cassie. See, I'm not sure how to say his name. Although it's exactly as we feared. What do you mean? Stories about merfolk are spreading like wildfire. First, it was just about her defeating those monsters. But now people are starting to whisper about merfolk flesh and immortality. At this rate, their kind will never want to return to these waters again. Her attack was really impressive. It's no surprise other people saw it. It's only gossip, right? People will get bored of it and move on to something else. I don't know if I can wait that long. I've saved my life. If I let these rumors keep growing, it may bring harm to her people. And that's no way to repay a debt. Even though she said she wouldn't come back until people forget about her, she didn't stop me trying to follow her. I can't let things go on like this. Guess we've got to silence those rumors. Any idea how we can do that? Well, we can't stop people talking, but what if we could change the stories they're telling? 
I get you. If we play our cards right, no one will even notice what we're doing. Do you have any new stories in mind? Alas, I've got nothing so far, but that's where you come in. I think you may be overestimating my talents. I'm no storyteller. No, I mean I want you to accompany me to the Serena Coast to look for inspiration. I feel a special connection with that place. I'm confident it won't let us down. These quests mostly seem to involve running to the Serena Coast and back. Okay, that I can handle. We'll go whenever you're ready. Got 6,000 Chrono Stones. Actually, since there was a new update, I could do a poll on that. Let's see what it is. I think we already have Victor. I don't know. I don't know if it's particularly worth doing. Get the clicking more details opens it in the tab and not not uh, in this tab with this information. His AS version is quite strong. Eh, we'll do a pull on it then. All right? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter if it's paid, because we don't have any paid stones! <laughs> Come on, let's see what we've got today. Third blessing RNG here. Hopefully. Hey, it's Silva! It's Denny! Keep seeing him on the coast. We're probably gonna go see him again. Blue robot. We did not already have. Purple! Purple girl. Yellow robot? We don't have all the robots yet, or all the Rainbow Sisters. We didn't have kill. We have Saria? We had Saria. Miranda! Samora? Oh, we're really collecting the, uh, collecting up the four stars. And Runa, which is Ru Ruina? Ruina? Which is unfortunate because we already have her. Oh well. Got some new people. Nume Android Extraordinaire on the scene. No obstacle can be permitted to stand in the way of peace. Don't you agree? Yellow robot. Terms and conditions accepted. All purpose Android tool at your service. I will fight for you to the end of my warranty period and beyond. I'm from, uh, you know, uh, the rainbow thing, the, uh, something, sisters, or oh, whatever. Saving another 5k for something else? Not particularly, I just kind of have a bunch of them. My name's Kilkia, and I'm just as strong as any of my sisters. I'll show you what I can do. I, uh, kind of save them up. Who are you, whatever. Pal? I'm Samora. I'm searching the world for the best food. Actually, I'm kind of just wandering around, so why not travel together a little while? But I've no time for picky eaters. I didn't want to see a single morsel left over. I kind of just like having a bunch of the stones, so I can kind of do a poll. Pretty much whenever there's a new banner, I like to do one on it, on here. It's kind of fun. And I, I do figure the Victor one isn't the most important because we do have regular Victor. I mean, can't even run very hard hey. dungeons yet though, so <laughs> it's not like leveling him up to his other other form is uh, something we can do anytime soon. Shall we venture on? Every time, every time I run the green dungeons, I, I, I see the red keys and I'm like. Wish I could use you, but I can't yet. I gotta advance the story further. Hello, Denny. Most of this mermaid quest happens right next to you. Also need good RNG to get his treatises, which can take a while. Yes. I have farmed some treatises on, on mobile. Skip part of what he said. This spot sure brings back memories. It was so beautiful that first night, and time has done nothing to take away her graceful nature. I could stand here and reminisce all day. There's no time for that. I have work to do. I can feel new ideas flowing already. Nice. Take all the time you need. Print. 
fall asleep, I think. Just falling asleep. It's done. This story will change how our people think of merfolk. Sounds good. Let me hear it. Alright, once upon a time, game tells you his story. It's well put together, even if it is kind of a sad story. You did a good job of casting merfolk in a flattering light. Plus, it's, it totally contradicts the stories we want to get rid of. We're actually pretty good at this. You ever think of becoming a writer? Not a chance. I can only write like this because of the subject matter. My head is always full of merfolky thoughts. Well, we've got our story. Now, how do we get it out there? If we want people to think it's true, should we publish it as a book, maybe? No, if it didn't sell, we'd be nowhere near our goal. I've heard about a talented bard living in Unigan. I think we should have him whip up the story up into a ballad. Never thought of that. It's a great idea. Popular songs travel all over the country in no time. Let's go ask him. Walker. All right. We can just do it straight away. Cat. Already have this cat. Goodbye, friendly cat. Ah. We don't need that, but it's fine now. Under attack. I want to go see the bard. Take care of this. Well. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. We've defeated a hundred female beast warriors. Pretty well on defeating a hundred of the different beast warriors. I guess because they're he they're on the coast, they're in uh, Miglant's castle, and they're in the Beast King castle, so you run into them an awful lot. Where's the bard? Okay, the bard's in the tavern. Child. <laughs> See when they uh, kind of pop up larger when you walk down to their uh, level. We have gotten um, Cyrus and Aldo to four stars now. They're not three stars anymore, finally. And uh, I need enough um, murmur scripts to get Amy also to four stars. Excuse me, sir, are you a bard? Sure am, sugar. What can I do for you? Something we want to ask you. Yep, very nice. Sorry, I don't take requests. Nothing personal, I just can't do that for everyone. No, that's not what we mean. We'd like you to turn a certain story into a song. Ooh, interesting. Okay, you've got my attention. What kind of story is it? Probably heard rumors about the mermaid on the Serena Coast, am I right? Why, yes, I heard it right here just the other day. No place like a tavern for swapping stories. If we tell you more about her, would you spread it around? As a song, I mean. I don't know. That particular story seems to be spreading fast enough without any help. Rumors are one thing, but we want everyone to know the truth about her. Sounds like you know more about this than the average man on the street. The truth will always be revealed, as they say. I would love to have a shot at this story of yours, but I have problems of my own. Anything we can help with? Perhaps. My loot is in need of repairs, you see, and its strings are made of rather special material. It's not sold in stores, it can only be obtained from a rather ornery type of monster. Treasure guarded by grizzly monsters. Sounds right up my alley. Just tell me where to find them and I'll go get your supplies for you. Are you sure? This isn't the kind of foe any old adventurer can tangle with. Nothing any old about me. Just promise you'll write us a great merfolk song in exchange. By you, Aldo, we mostly mean Tiramis. You got yourself a deal, honey. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Materials I seek are jealously guarded by a cruel Lizzie in the Carrick Swampland. Got it. I'll be back in a flash. The Carrick Swampland. And some good progress on the uh, present, present time period side quests. It's just the future. The future is just, it's, it's not my favorite era. I really, I really like it. That's why I did all the quests there already. <laughs> Okay, down this way. There's a cat right behind this guy. This looks like the cruel Lizzie the bard told you about. Begin battle now? Yes. We must liberate this cat. Your stars show a sad existence. Attack. No He's actually strong. Go Tyrannus. 
We need to we need to work on getting her tail well so she can get up to level uh not level. Four stars. Revives Tiramis' first attack. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Not, not, not just anyone gets to do that. Gotta be like... A quest enemy. But finally a worthy opponent, our battle will be legendary. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Indeed. It was a very legendary battle. The other people, they got to hit it. No, I don't need to talk to you now. Helena even got to be the one to finish it off. I think. It was either Helena or Cyrus. Hey there, I got you the goods. You did nothing. Tir Tiramis did most of the work. Yes, this is what I need. Splendid work. Looks like you put a stop to that cruel Lizzie. These new strings, my lute will sing like an angel. Great, now about your side of the bargain. Oh yes, I will write you a song that will stay with you your whole life. But first, tell me all you know about this mermaid. It's done. For an improvised piece, it's shaped up rather nicely. It does full justice to your tale. The warmth of a love that transcends the species barrier chilled by the bitterness of loss. Such pathos. All that's left is a title. I would welcome your input on that. Or if you'd have, if, or if you have no preferences, I'll think of something myself. Actually, uh huh, uh huh. You are a lyrical genius, my friend. That title is perfect for this piece. One more thing: can you wait one day before starting to perform this song? I'd like her to be the first to hear it, and for it to come from my own lips. How romantic! Do as you wish should hear it if we go to the usual spot. Right, to the Ser Serena Coast. Time to serenade Denny. And probably the mermaid. But mostly Denny. Again. Confusing. It was a very wonderful day when I figured out that you can activate objects with by pressing F on the keyboard. I mean, I still mostly click on things. I like clicking on things. But I'm prone to clicking too much, so I try not to do it, so... I imagine that's uh, a little, a little annoying. Here. Wish to die? Step forward! Okay, sorry. I had to, uh... I had to uh, silence uh, my Alexa. We fight I'm for the same you. cause. Stop. She has lots of reminders. And they go off at inconvenient times sometimes. That's a character. I'm not doing that. Doing this. Here we are. Time for our ballad's debut performance. Are you ready, Aldo? BRB? Sure, I've been looking forward to hearing what you two came up with. I couldn't have done it without your help either. Thank you for sticking with me all this time. It's been my pleasure. Wherever you are, I hope this ocean will carry this song and my feelings to you. The sea was as a mirror, reflecting the great silver moon. This is when those wandering youths came across her, the living jewel faded before I could read it. Kassim begins to sing. I don't hear. His voice is packed with emotion and can be heard above the roar of the waves. The ballad is a tragic tale of love, lost love based on Kassim's encounter with the mermaid. A human and a mermaid meet one moonlit night and fall in love. Man is suffering from a curse and close to death. Mermaid bravely sacrifices her own life to save him. Coming to the curse, she transforms into sea foam and becomes one with the ocean. Heartbroken, the man sets sail day after day, hoping against hope to see her again. 
Wow, I already knew the story, but that song really touched me. This should put an end to those unwholesome rumors. Not a bad song, but it was a little too melodramatic for my tastes. That voice. I guess they didn't have our mermaid model yet back in the day when they made this quest. Came out after all. Couldn't possibly ignore such a beguiling serenade. We merfolk you love music. I didn't know that. You are the first human to learn so much about us in centuries. Who are you? This is the head of our clan. Oh, pleased to meet you, sir. What brings you out here? My darling granddaughter twisted my arm. I can never say no to her. The girl has long been fascinated by humans. She's always making trips onto land, ignoring my warnings of the dangers. And look at her now, in love with a human. Grandfather. So that's what you meant. There is very little I would not do for the sake of my granddaughter's happiness. I cannot allow her to marry a human. It goes against the most ironclad laws of our people. However, we may find a solution by turning our thinking around. Like, if she can't live on land, Kasim could go live in the sea. Precisely. Hold up a minute. This is all moving too fast for me. Me live in the sea? How? Why? Erg, are all humans this dense? Let me spell it out for you. I love you, Kasim. I want to be with you. What? So, uh, this means we can actually be together? Indeed. However, an invitation to join our world beneath the waves cannot be extended to just anyone. It is my duty to judge whether you are worthy of this honor. That song is all the evidence I need. I sense a strong heart and unshakable resolve behind its lyrics. You mean... Turn him into our merman? Mermaid? The choice is yours, Kasim. Will you join me in the ocean and remain by my side? I... Are you sure about this? I don't want to be a burden to you. Don't worry about that. I'll teach you everything you need to know about our world. In that case, I... Here he goes. Living under the sea is probably going to take some getting used to. Knowing him, he'll be a lot happier this way. Well, I've got an adventure of my own to get back to. Dot dot. Good luck, Kasim. Farewell, mermaid. Mermaid man. Mermaid princess soon became one of the most popular ballads in Rind. May have started life as a tale of tragedy, but its star-crust lovers may have found their happy ending after all. Is complete. Nice, a nice tale. Benny was there for it. Hiding. Do we have any quests left in the present? Surely there's some. World on the other side of the well. Okay, there's another. The, the well quest in Baru Baruoki is also a three part quest. And we'll finish that up and we'll probably be done after that because streaming for over an hour and a half, and that's a bit long for me. Quests, quests usually take me like 20 minutes, because I'm a bit slow. I mean, they'd be a lot longer if we didn't have Tiramis to wipe all the mobs. Tiramis is amazing. He's great. I also need to work on the main story so we can do the, the, new, the new thing. The, the update. I think we only need to clear, like, chapter 25 of the main story. Because a lot of other stuff is locked much further behind the main story. Hole in space-time at the bottom of the well is still open. Find out what's going on. This is that well with the wormhole at the bottom. I did warn everyone away from it, but I wonder if it's still there. Could be dangerous. I'd better go check up on it. I don't know, Aldo. Based on that quest description, I think it is. Just like I thought, the wormhole's still here. As long as it's open, there's still a chance someone might misuse it. Wonder how things are going on the other side. It's open so long, they usually kind of close immediately. I'm just staring at the wormhole. 
Whoa, ah oh geez, not again. Hey, you're that guy from before. I thought I told you to quit throwing trash in this hole. Y you've got it all wrong. I just came to look if there were any letters here. FYI, my name is Yunel. Remember it, I don't want to go down in history as that guy. Alright, Yunel. What did you say about a letter? Well, I've been coming here for a while just to look at this weird hole. Sometimes I find letters. At first, I thought my old trash was getting sent back. You weren't sending them. No, it doesn't ring any bells. So it wasn't you. Interesting. Who could be writing these? Really curious. What did the letters say? Well, they're more like diary entries, but the content is kind of heavy. I think they're written by a girl. Whoever she is, most of her days are spent in fear. Fear? What is she so afraid of? From what I can piece together, she has a chronic disease. Not only that, but her symptoms are getting steadily worse. Doctors told her she doesn't have long. Every day, she's afraid that she might not wake up again tomorrow. Really spilled her guts onto the page. I wish I could help her somehow, but what can I possibly do? We're from wherever this hole leads, right? Can't you find the girl who's writing these letters? If you do, I'd like you to give her this letter from me. These words are right from my heart. I want her to know I'm rooting for her. Got Yunel's letter. I really like their weird thigh-high boot sock pants. They're very strange, but they're very cool looking. Okay, I'll find her and give her this. Thank you, I hope we can cheer her up. Those letters must have come from my time, from Baruoki. Sickly girl from our village, it must be Toka. I didn't know her condition was so bad. Better go talk to her. Baruoki, you have such good clothes. Oh, the hole vanished. It only exists in the cutscene. That means we gotta, gotta use the map. I want to wait for the map to load. But I have no choice. Not antiquity. The little green thing always makes me want to click on antiquity. But we're not working on that right now. I wanted to do some side questing before I continue on into the dimensional vortex. Which is what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to go into the dimensional vortex. Well, we already went through part of the dimensional vortex where we lit up the little fire things. Changed the color of the little fire things. Toka? Uh, Aldo? Hi, Toka. I've heard you've not been feeling so hot. Yes, I collapsed while you were away, and since then, the doctor said it's my heart. It's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. Your heart. My chest aches when I try to move around too quickly, and every now and then it feels like it's going to just stop outright. That way you wrote the letters. Letters? You've been writing stuff and throwing the pages down the well, right? How do you know that? That well is connected to another place. Someone there picked up your writing. He's real worried about you. He wanted me to give you this. Gotta... I say transdimensional, but tra more like trans time well. Toka, Toka holds up the letter and reads it. It must be nice to be so healthy. I'm a little jealous. You know, Aldo, whoop, I clicked. Didn't mean to do that. You know, Aldo, I tried to take the, all this in my stride, but it's hard. Why do I have this disease? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? My body's always been weak, but I was hoping I'd grow out of it someday, if only I could hold on long enough. If I have to live with a heart that could give out any minute, then... Then maybe... Maybe it would be better if I'd never been born at all. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, I know I shouldn't talk about that. I, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. Of course. Came down to it, I couldn't think of anything to say to Toka. Feel terrible just standing around. Maybe I'll head back to Elzian and tell you know I delivered his letter. And we had to open the map again. It's a tragedy. I think I hopped down all the wells in, uh, 
karaoke part of the game. Back to Elzian, and you know. So that's what I'm gonna call him, because that's what his name looks like to me. How does the Midlands Castle not fall over? That's something I wonder about. It looks like. like. whoosh. I don't know what you call that shape. You know, so for Gant Gamma District or the Theta District? This is the Gamma District. He's over in the Theta District. Looks like all of them, though. I can't tell the people apart. Theta District. Yeah, he's still down over here by the portal. Probably be a little concerned by all these uh, pairs that are still existing in the sky. Should probably work on resolving that. <laughs> I guess that, that that's why we need to go in the dimensional box. You're back. Did you find the girl on the other side of the hole? Yeah, yeah, I did. How is she? Not gonna lie, she's not doing great. There's no cure for the sickness she's got. Can't exert herself, and her heart is really unstable to boot. That matches up with what she wrote. There's just one thing that bothers me. This is the disease I'm thinking of. It's not incurable. Not by a long shot. Did you find out something? Yeah, I had a talk with a friend of mine who's a doctor. Asked her if those symptoms sounded familiar. She said it's most likely Parmilla syndrome. Parmilla syndrome. Never heard of it. Probably because hardly anyone catches it anymore. It's pretty obscure. About 300 years ago, it was a serious problem, but they found a cure centuries ago. Most people have developed an immunity to it, so she must have something else. 300 years ago. Wait, that's it. Medical science in this time period is way more advanced. They found a cure. You know what? I think it could be Parmilla syndrome. She even said so herself. What? But she described it as an incurable disease. I bet she was being figurative, you know. Like she feels like she'll never get over it. Think so? Even if it is, we'd have to make the medicine from scratch. Nothing wrong with that. Actually, there is. We'd need mythalol, and that stuff's expensive. There's no demand for Parmilla medicine anymore. The pharma companies discontinued it. It's so rare now, my life savings wouldn't be enough to buy it. I guess Parmilla still is incurable if you don't have the cash. Maybe that's what the girl in the letter meant. Okay, so what exactly is mythalol stuff? Could we find it or make some ourselves? A chemical substance found in certain species of snails. Apparently, there used to be tons of facilities developing the stuff, but they closed when they weren't needed anymore. Got it. We need some snail goop to make the medicine. Everyone's happy. Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea how much we'd need to synthesize a cure? Unless you're planning to hunt down some giant prehistoric snails, you can forget about it. How convenient. We know where giant prehistoric snails are. Giant snails, huh? Interesting. I'm sure I saw them on the Karuri High Road right near Palsible Palace. Leave it to me, I'll find a way to get my hands on some mythalol. While I'm gone, you can look up the recipe for making the medicine. Seriously? You really mean it, don't you? See it in your eyes. Okay, I trust you. I'll set things up so we can synth the remedy as soon as you get back. Off he goes. Farewell. Okay. Gotta go murder those... They're not really snails, because they have... Legs. And last I checked, snails do not have legs. Uh, but it's close enough. They're weird slime creatures. Rury High Road. I like it because it's purple and swampy. Yeah, I'll just pop in at the Tower of Time. Immediately pop out of the Tower of Time. Sorry, Tower of Time. I do need to visit there, though. There's a... Uh... There's a uh, horror there that I haven't killed that I might be able to take on now. Actually, I should run down on this lair where I won't run into an enemy that I uh, don't want to fight. I have killed these two guys, though. Oh. I, think I, I think I've collected all the antiquity kitties. Not antiquity. Well, yeah, antiquity. This is antiquity. Just the... Uh... Miglena? The middle, middle continent antiquity. Oh no, she's out of... Out 
of mana. We have to actually try. Duva. It's a nice place to run back and forth. Got these things. You got these pretty purple palm trees. I don't know why they're purple. I'm not even sure they're palm trees. I don't, I don't think those are palm trees. I don't think that's what a palm tree looks like. You guys have AoE <laughs> Bailey. Aldo has a but he's in the background. Let's fight till the end. Oh, okay. These guys are pretty weak, I guess. I, I forget how early on this part is. Got one liquid. Ooh, crystals as well. This place is amazing. Love the crystal. They could glow, though. They don't glow. If they were glowing, they'd be perfect. Just do the same thing we did to kill the mango dogs. The mango dogs are not snails, so they are useless. It's also none of those creepy flowers that look like eyeballs here. I I don't like them on the on the soul planes. They they scare me a bit. They're uh, the background ones. The ones with faces though that you fight, those are scary too. I do not care about these guys. Let's just do regular attacks to see if that doesn't kill everyone immediately so that Tornus can get back some uh, MP. Nope, oh, apparently it doesn't matter. We can just one shot everybody because they're so weak. Pity for them. If I go over here, please let me fight more of the snails. I will the snail! I mean, it's not really a snail, but. Close enough. These flowers are nice. And the sky, like this purple pink sky. Love that. Satellite. I guess that's part of the Tower of uh, Tower of Time. I will take care. Never really noticed it before. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Yes, you have been defeated before. Not too often, though. You, 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 you're pretty good. You're pretty strong. Mostly by horrors that outleveled her. And everyone else, because she's by far my highest level character. Take that. She's level okay, who's next? 6. I think Nikoko is the second highest level, and she just hit level 50. I've been using her to run dungeons. I mean, mostly I just use Tiramis to run the dungeons, and I, then I... Put my other characters with her that I want to level that I don't use for things in general. Like these guys get a bit more experience because I try to use them in quests and stuff. No one can defeat it. Also trying to level Nika summoner. here. She's she's leveling pretty fast. She's cool. I'd like to use her. So it doesn't want to change direction. You will None of you are slow. Here we go. Oh, wow, it took them two hits to kill that guy. Very strong. By very strong, I mean, not really. The issue is probably that, uh. I forgot her name. Helena. Helena doesn't hit all that hard. It's hard enough, though. Okay, who's next? I can't remember if I've given her a weapon. Hopefully, I did. Can't tell because she doesn't hold one. It has no weapon at all. What are they gonna do if they ever give her like a, a personal weapon? Like, uh, not a man. They don't get mana. Let's do that. Okay. But like, um, Who's next? I know Rika gets the hand in her art. But uh, Helena doesn't carry. Doesn't carry a weapon. She has a weapon in her art, but not, not here. To challenge me. That's always confused me a bit. I don't know. Got more mi mine, mine, mine me liquid. No, that's not enough. We have two. Goodness, these quests are... The ones where it's go and kill enemies until you have enough of a thing. Those are not very fun. It's like grinding to upgrade weapons, but... Well, I mean, it basically is that, but you don't get the weapon <laughs> quest instead. Although it's really not as bad as grinding weapon weapon material. The weapon materials in dungeons are worse. 
I think I limited my keys. It's out on the overworld, you can kind of just work at it. I feel like the way for horrors to respawn, though. Shall we venture on? This one thing I'm not good at keeping on top of, I, I forget to go kill them. I'm like, oh, I need that. And now I gotta go kill these horrors, and I hope I don't need more, too many of them, so I don't have to wait too long. To challenge me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that should be four. We make a good team. Four. Yep, we're up to four. One more. One more mine, 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 mine liquid. More slug liquid. Snail. Slugs don't have shells. I guess it's a snail. Kitty, what are you doing? Take that! Come here. Don't cause trouble. Be a good girl. I ask her to not. Okay, there we go. I ask her to not cause trouble, but my kitty will definitely cause trouble. A bit of a troublemaker. She likes to pull my earbuds out. Not intentionally, just accidentally. She's always getting. She always manages to get caught on the uh, on the cord. Or the wire. I guess it's a wire, not a cord. She gets caught on the wire and pulls. But she's cute, so I forgive her. Okay, so we need to go back to the Theta District, I believe it is. Which reminds me, can we, yeah, we can use this. I forgot about this thing. Theta District, Xeno Prisma. Yeah, this will take us pretty close. Very nice. I think my cat came to buy me because she's that I haven't been uh, I haven't been paying attention to her. Hey, I got it. One bottle of Falol hot off the snail's back. Whoa, I can't believe you actually found some, and so much of it too. It wasn't all that hard. So can we we can make that cure now, right? Let's get this show on the road. Yeah. Right, message I'll message my doctor pal. She'll know what to do. You were supposed to do that in her absence several hours later. It's finished. We're probably the first people to make Parmilla medicine in years. Awesome. Give it to me, I'll take it right to her. No wait. What's up? While we were sending the cure, I couldn't stop thinking about this girl we're making it for. You remember that letter I gave you for her before? I wrote that thinking I could cheer her up, but I realize now that was pretty thoughtless of me. Just saying cheer up isn't, isn't going to solve anything. I should have tried to imagine what she was going through, what kind of words would really help. So I came to a decision. You've given her the medicine after she's gotten better, I want you to tell her something from me. Tell her that someone in the world understands her. Even when she feels weak or lonely, there are plenty of people around who care about her doesn't have to fight alone, she deserves to experience all the world has to offer. I'll tell her, I promise. Well, time's a-wasting. I'd better get going. Hope you'll be in time. Ah! Kitty. Pick me with your little kitty feet. Oh no! Went the right way. Right way. Need the map. I guess the, the way doesn't really matter. I'm using the map. Now we need to hand over the medicine to Toka and Baruoki. I think that'll be it for our present present day quests. And we just have a whole lot of future quests, but we're gonna put those off some more. I feel like it. Also a lot of character quests. We have a lot of character quests we haven't been doing. Work on those at some point. So much to do so much to do in another Eden. Part of why I love it. All the little stories. Wait, did I steal your belongings? Shiny People Volume 4 and various medicines are neatly organized. Okay, before I give her the medicine, we will read Shiny People Volume 4. Under key items. Shiny People Volume 4. A folktale called The Shiny People, Volume 4. Belju raised his sword to the heavens to save the imprisoned woman. The sword thrust high, lightning came down, and gifted him his shining power. Let us leave this place. Who are you? They fled together, never to be seen again. Okay. Toka, drink this. It'll make you better. Aldo, calm down a minute. What's going on? Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I got someone I know to research your condition. This medicine should cure you. 
I cannot read. I cannot read through your fur, kitty. No way. Every doctor I've spoken to says there's no cure. I don't have time to explain, but trust me, this will make you feel a lot better. All right, I know you wouldn't lie to me about something like this. Toka gulps down the medicine. Wow, my chest doesn't feel so tight. The pain was almost too much to bear a while ago, but now? What is this stuff, Aldo? Long story short, someone read your diary and he wanted to help you. So he made this. A little help from me. He's the same guy who wrote that letter I gave you a little while back. Oh, that guy. He asked me to give you a message. It's a letter. To my kind benefactor. It's been some time since I first learned of you. Thanks to the medicine you made me, my heart is now strong and healthy. Doctors were all so surprised. No one's ever recovered this fast. Said it's like a miracle. Even I have trouble believing that this is real. Miracles do happen. What an age we live in. I used to fear the coming of night, never knowing if I'd last till morning. I would be afraid to close my eyes in case I never opened them again. In my darker moments, I thought it would have been better if I'd never been born. But I was wrong. The world looks different to me now, though I'm sure it hasn't changed. I never saw the world for what it was before. I didn't want to. I shut myself in my room and hid. I believed I didn't have a single friend. I thought I was all alone in this great wide world. Perhaps playing the part of the tragic heroine was my way of dealing with my condition. Then things changed. You gave me the courage to look outward. This world is bigger than I ever imagined and more beautiful too. You said I should experience the world and with my new lease of life, exactly what I'm going to do. I hope that somewhere in my travels our paths will cross again, my dear friend. Yours, Toka. Medicine worked. Thank goodness. I am so glad. Good luck, Toka. That wormhole's still open. Because that's, like, kind of dangerous. Oh, okay, we're gonna have a reason. All is well. Can't just have people wandering in and out of, in and out of wormholes. Rift's closed. The letter got through all right, didn't it? That's right. That was quite a poetic message he came up with. Hee <laughs> hee. Stranger from the future, we never met, but you gave me back my life. Thank you. I'll see the world with my own eyes, just like you said. I won't waste a second chance. Traveling now? How are we going to be standing here when the cutscene ends? Something I often wonder about. Where it'll leave you after a quest ends. Okay, it is leaving us here. Let's see if we have any more quests. Okay, all our quests in the future. None in progress. Okay. That was a good good two hours, I guess, of doing doing quests in the present, so I think I'll be I'll be done now, so good goodbye everyone. A coffee drinker, thank you for coming by. Anyone else who came by? Thank you. Uh Tomorrow, probably? Should be tomorrow. We're gonna go investigate further into the uh, dimensional vortex. We've already done part of it. Yep. Bye!